Let's have some beer. What be going down, people of the world? Thank you so much for joining me for yet another Daily Drink vlog. My name is Redbeard, and today we have got a bottle of Ceres Cucumber and Lime Goze by the Nickelbrook Brewing Company. This is out of their Funk Lab, I believe. They have a couple different brewery locations. I think their original one, they turned into the Funk Lab, which is where they kind of experiment with funkiness. So, uh, yeah, 4% soured light beer. Really not a big fan of cucumber. So I'm really not sure at all what to expect from this beer. So let's crack her open. Terrible throw. And let's see what we've got. I'm assuming any head that develops would disappear relatively quickly as it is a gose, so I'm gonna just pour it and say it looks kind of pretty and then quickly get a picture. Yeah, barely got any head in the picture at all. Looks all right, I don't know if you can tell, but the tulip glass I'm using is the recommended style for this particular beer. The four pack came with this weird little report card thing. And I took a different branded glass and Attempted with three different stickers to get the damn thing on there and this glass Shape just is not conducive to my little red beard stickers. I need to get some custom glasses made. That's what I need to get done I'm not getting really cucumber smell. I'm getting a bit of lime though And then a little bit of the funky kind of typical sour beer aroma I'm really not sure what to expect here Let's give her a shot. Wow. There is definitely cucumber in the flavor, but the way the lime works with the cucumber, it actually makes the cucumber flavor kind of good. That's a weird beer. Nickelbrook.com, pretty sure, right? Yep, check them out, they're in the Toronto area. And this is one of those breweries that, you know, I need to acquire a shirt and a glass because they make so many different beers so often. I wanna be able to represent, not, 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 not so much my hometown brewery or anything like that, but my Ontario, you know, I like to represent these Ontario breweries, especially ones like Nickelbrook, Sawdust City, Bose, probably the biggest ones in Ontario that are still doing it like the real craft beer way. Cheers to you guys. Let's do this. Cheers, everybody else. The sour in that beer is really nice, actually. It's another one of those beers that it's only 4%. Like you could sit out on a hot summer day on the patio and have many of those. So very, very many. Really interesting picture on there. I'm pretty sure Ceres is some kind of goddess, Greek or that type of mythology, I'm not 100% sure. Maybe it'll say here. A sour beer with fresh cucumber and lime juice with a hint of sea salt sounds insane, right? Nope. This thirst quenching goes a pronounced goes a uh, goes a. Uh? Oh, I always said goes a goes a. Fair enough. I just learned something. That makes me kind of sad. I was at Funk Fest recently and said goes a bunch of times. None of them re none of them corrected me. Thank you, Bottle, for helping me out. It's a perfect balance between tart, refreshing, and citrus flavors. Named for the Roman goddess of agriculture and crops, I knew it was going to be in there, Ceres is our tribute to the importance of fresh, natural ingredients. Wheat and barley, cucumbers, and limes. Himalayan sea salt and a hint of lactobacillus all combined in an all-natural sour delight. The gods were smiling on our brewers the day they came up with this beauty. That is really nicely worded. I like that. Malts are Pilsner and malted wheat. I believe that. I, I That Pilsner.
There was a hint of it in there. I like that. Malted wheat and uh, hops for citra. Citra does some good stuff. Yeast, California ale, Saison, and lactobacillus. Wow. Saison yeast in there, and I like it. Fruit and spices, cucumber juice, lime juice, lime zest, coriander, and Himalayan sea salt. Ingredients, water, barley, wheat, cucumber juice, lime juice, coriander, Himalayan sea salt, lacto... See, they didn't, like, you didn't even have to this time. Like, they just go above and beyond. They tell you everything that's in it, and then they do it again. Like, Nickelbrook, you make so many breweries just look terrible. I'm not sure about some kind of a date on this though. It's a pretty dark bottle. And if it's on there, I would assume it would be top or bottom of the bottle. I'm not seeing anything. A 4% beer that's not dated? Really? The four pack came in. I'm just seeing if maybe the whole four pack has some kind of date on it anywhere. Like the Wellington one had some kind of label on the bottom. I remember that. This does not. That is a surprising fail, Nickelbrook. If, um, if I'm failing to see the date somewhere, then please let me know and I will correct any negative things I have said or will say in the comments and the description box down below. Not the comments. I don't need to go in the comments. I'm the one who made the video. I get the whole description box. It's mine. It's all mine. This is really surprisingly tasty. Like really, really, really surprising. And it's pretty cool. Like, I didn't actually show you. I just, you might have seen as I was turning it around, but this is what the four pack contains. Number one, I've already drank and loved, so I'm just going to drink that and love it again. And then we've got two other ones after this one. And both of those ones, I'm even more, or I guess I'd say equally, excuse me, cucumber and lime works really well together, even in a burp. Those two, I am just as uncertain about as this one. As I was this one. Yeah, that works. Take two. Sorry, I just heard noises. Yes, people are downstairs. All good. Ratings for this bad boy. Untapped. 3.72 out of 5, 2,332 ratings. No IBU rating. Uh, we got some fours, we got a five, we got a three. Very refreshing and different. I agree. Sour cucumber nose and clear, decent head. Good straw, sour cuke mouth. Why? Why would you write something like that? Good gold straw? I said good, but it actually says gold straw. Is that you're trying to say the color? I don't think so. I wouldn't really say that's like maybe, maybe super, super light straw. Dying straw that hasn't had water in a while. <laughs> Beer Advocate, 87, 20 ratings. Some of the people like... It's insane how long, like, you know, I'm just going to randomly go like this. I'm going to put this over here so you can see. Look at how long this person's review of this one beer is. I can't really, you know, complain. I'm not complaining, but I'm just saying it's insane. That's, that's, that's writing a story about a beer. I, the things, the number of things that I've said, all the words since I started the vlog to the end of the vlog might beat that. So I can't really complain, but I'm not making you read. This sticker is just going to hell. Can you hear it? It's it's not working out. It is masking the actual branding of the glass. So that's nice. I'm not drinking a Nickelbrook beer. I am drinking a Nickelbrook beer out of a 
very much not Nickelbrook glass, but you don't really know that. Unless you've been paying attention to anything I've said, because I've, just, I've admitted to it a few times now. Great beer! Rating for this beer. Overall, 80, 93 for the style. Met my expectations. Uh, not sure cucumber flavored beers were my thing. Excuse me. I wasn't either. But now, I should put this back to here, actually. Bam. Bam. Yeah. Mild possible hiccups happening. Not a fan. It's one of the uh, hazards of drinking a beer quickly. We'll take a moment. Yeah, let's talk. How you doing? Hey, how you been? Everybody doing good? Hello to anybody new that has popped around. Like I, I don't want to sound egotistical. I'm not egotistical. I'm very much like that. No, no, I am not any kind of celebrity, anything like that. But like, I've been slowly accumulating subscribers in the last little while at a decent rate, and I just want to say thank you very, very, very much to anybody that has recently hit that subscribe button. I'm not going anywhere that I know of, hopefully. I have no plans to stop doing this in the near future. In the near future. I have plans to maybe see a speech therapist. <laughs> no, I don't actually. But yeah, just enunciate the words a little better. Working on that, you know, occasionally my mouth gets away from me. Hiccups have not happened. We're all good. Let's keep going. It's lovely. It really is. I'm blown away by that. And it's actually warmed up a fair bit now, and it's still... The flavor is exactly the same as it was when it was very cold. Just, I'm... I'm shocked. I've had a couple other cucumber beers. I don't, I don't know if I've had any of them on the channel. I want to say maybe one at a, no, that was a watermelon beer I believe at a festival. Barnstormer, watermelon something, I think. Regardless, I am now open to trying other cucumber beers. Drink number the last. Jeez, recording for like 14 minutes. What the hell? A small bottle of beer. Nickelbrook, your cucumber and lime gose. Yeah, series. Series. The Roman. I said Greek. It was Roman. Terrible. Rating on this beer. That is a nine. Might have been a nine and a half, but I don't see any any date anywhere on there. That saddens me. I know you're better than that, Nickelbrook. So correct me if I'm wrong. And that's going to do it for today's Daily Drink Vlog. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, then be sure to smash that like button if you want to see more of my videos. And be sure to smash that subscribe button. And if you've got something to say to me, put some comments in the box down below. But thanks again, and I'll be back with another Daily Drink Vlog tomorrow. A peace out! I just spent like the last five minutes going over every freaking square inch of this bottle, and I don't see a date anywhere. What the hell?